This video went viral, but incidents like this can be found throughout America. The criminalization of Black girls in schools disrupts one of the most important factors in their lives, education. I would like for schools to become locations for healing so that they can become locations for learning. These young women, they are pushing up against racism, sexism, classism, homophobia, xenophobia. I've asked girls if they felt that teachers were afraid of them. And some girls will say yes, their teachers are afraid of them. And then they laugh, because why would an adult be afraid of a child? And the word of the week is condone. Condone. <laughs> As a nation, talking about the school to prison pipeline for black boys and Latino boys, but absent of that conversation what we learned, Emma? was how girls of color and black girls in particular were being impacted. What that then did was send the message that what's happening to girls isn't necessarily a crisis. What's crazy is, is that there are 300 girls in this school. Good majority of girls here are black and they go through a lot. And I know they go through a lot because they're black. They, they, they live in America. My teacher got super duper mad and dragged me by the chair yelled at the other kids to move, and dragged me all the way outside. Oftentimes, I'm gonna say what they don't see is they just refuse to see black girls as being somebody able to be harmed. My harm can actually be like, come at me and I'm coming for you. I was known for fighting. I had a big mouth. Like, I would just put up a front like I was so angry. But I, like deep down inside, I was really depressed and I was really sad. We know there's a higher number of assaults against black girls. They're more likely to be trafficked. They're more likely to be molested. They're more likely to fall into so many different categories that affect their ability to learn. I actually got caught up with a pimp for like three days, but I knew it was like so wrong. Like I just didn't want to be here no more. You push a girl out of school and you push her into the streets. You push her into violence, you push her into trauma. Whereas I felt like we needed to approach any of our intervention from they are capable, they are strong, they are vulnerable. It matters. They are worth protecting. Even though you think you're doing racial justice work, if you're not talking about girls, you're not doing racial justice work. The question is whether we believe that certain children need surveillance and policing and punitive responses, and other kids get to explore who they are. We rising up. Black lives matter worldwide till the end of time. Can't nobody stop us, the love we got's colossal.